Right now, I'm reading 10 different books at the same time. A lot of people probably think that that is one, illogical, but two, not the smartest thing to do. In this video, I wanna break down to you why you should almost always read more than one book at one time. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Let's dive into it. One of my favorite things to do is to read multiple books at the same time. I have another video on it, but I did want to record something else because of the fact that I think it's a point that a lot of people really never talk about. When we are only reading one book at one time, we get stuck in a one-track mind. That one-track mind creates some form of thought loop or mental model about just one thing. So we end up believing simply only what that author has given us and not the plethora of information that surrounds the subject or is is related in a parallel field. And so what I like to make sure that I'm doing is reading at least two, but normally it's more than that books at the same time, pulling a chapter from each of them and allowing the information to create new information and new meaning within my mind. See, each of us contains mental models. If we only read about biological evolution, we only know about biological evolution from the people that we learn from. But as soon as we start to learn about different theories of evolution, and I'm not saying that I believe any other theories of evolution, but what I am saying is the moment that we start to read different theories of evolution or different philosophies on maybe where we came from, what consciousness is, how all of it works, that is the moment that we actually allow ourselves to create a solidified mental model that is unique to ourselves. So we're not just regurgitating information from someone that we might think might know what is going on because each of us is a person and we just learn something based on where we started, what we've read, obtained got from our environment, digested, and then put forth onto a book. Very similar to how you reading multiple books can create your own mental model and therefore your own belief system and therefore your own thinking process. That's the same as the author that you likely are reading now. So the reason that I say that you should read more than one book at one time is to make sure that you don't get caught in a one track mind because a one track mind is going to lead you into a belief system that gets you in arguments, that gets you in all these different faults because you've never been able Able to practice intellectual honesty, the ability to be reflexive in the information that you have, which is one of the most important things that you could ever do, especially in the climate of today's news, politics, information age, whatever we want to call this. All that requires intellectual flexibility. It requires you to be honest about new information coming into your life and not fighting it with a stringent belief system because you only read from one book or one track or one field. This way, you create complete information in a complete mental model, which will allow you to thrive and allow your mind to be unlike anybody else's. That's why you should be reading more than one book at one time. And I know this was a little rant, but thank you for bearing with me. If this helped you in any way, make sure to put below how many books you're reading, what you're reading, and I'd love to learn more. Otherwise, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future.